have a true story for you today. And this is to make anybody out there feel a little bit better. Make sure you know you're not on your own island or all by yourself. If you have recently blown a job interview, if you're disappointed in yourself or you're bummed out because you just uh, recently completed an interview and you did terrible, don't beat yourself up too bad because most of us have done that at some point in our careers. I blew a job interview. Yes, me, the guy who has a podcast about career advice and job interviewing. I've written two books about interviewing. <laughs> I, I totally blew a job interview one time. I broke out into a massive sweat, almost like somebody was pouring water down my face. I, I think I was having a nervous breakdown about a quarter of the way through the interview. I had to excuse myself and go to the restroom to stop sweating. I'm in the restroom pouring water on my face, and using paper towels. I just came back to the room and said, listen, Mr. Jones, I, I apologize. Uh, sorry for wasting your time. I know I'm not getting the job at this point, so let's just call it good. <laughs> and I excused myself and left. And by the way, I had flown all the way down to Miami, Florida for that inter interview from Denver, Colorado. And so it was a full two days of travel and I just totally blew it. This is right before I started recruiting firm Rider Flex. So a couple of years before that, I guess. I, so I can't remember. This would probably be, I don't know, 2011, 2012, 2013, somewhere in there. I don't remember the exact date. Anyway, I remember going to the hotel and telling my wife, like, wow, here I am. I'm in my mid 40s and I'm getting nervous at a job interview like I'm 22. Like, what the hell's wrong with me? <laughs> anyway, a complete waste of time. Uh, totally blew the trip and the interview. And I was feeling pretty down about myself. What is my point? What's my point of this podcast episode? The point is this. If you don't get the job, if you do horrible in the job interview, maybe it's a sign, right? Like maybe that's meant to be. My wife and I probably would have had to move and relocate to Miami, Florida. I know Kim would have been miserable doing that. I probably would have been miserable because we loved Colorado. And I probably never would have started Riderflex, our recruiting firm. So, I, you know, not to sound cheesy, but I think some things do happen for a reason, right? Some powers above steer you left or right. They steer you down a path for certain reasons. And so if you've recently crashed an interview, don't beat yourself up too bad. It does happen. And maybe it was meant to be. And it was good practice, right? I'm sure there's something you could learn from it. And there is your Riderflex tip of the day.